But there is an idea circulating that white women are nicer than black women. Well, they are. Because they haven't gone through what we have. They don't have the history we have. Why shouldn't she be nice? I remember one time I was in New Orleans doing a program. And we came out of this restaurant. And there was a white woman sitting on the curb. Middle-aged white woman. And she was begging for change and everything. I said, I'm not giving you nothing. You a white woman. You got everything at your disposal that you could have in this country. And you sitting out here begging. And I told my party, don't give her nothing. I said, y'all just need to get up and go somewhere and clean yourself up and be white. And you'll, you know, you'll get something going, all right? If not, if one of these stupid Negroes will get with you. But you got to clean up and do better than that. I said, but, you know, so she has certainly a better opportunity. Now, a lower class white woman is not going to agree with that. She thinks she's having it as hard as black people. <laughs> In fact, she thinks we the reason she have it hard, all right? But uh, it's really not like that. Uh, that white privilege that they talk about is real. That's very real. And uh, we practice a little of it with each other on the lighter skins and the darker skins. You know, we ate every idea they fed us. Uh, uh, we ate it. Even though it was all against self, they taught us to want that. And we still continuing to do that now. Uh, we have learned to practice the technology they practice. And so we have distrust of each other. You know, you're going to trick me or I'm going to trick you. Just all kind of nonsense that we cannot dig up out of it until we give them their God back. We can't do it. <coughs> it's just impossible. You can't hold on to everything that they stand for and then say you're going to make a change because everything that they stand for is designed to destroy us. And using our standards based on their standards, I think is also a Because they're not the same. They're not the same. Your nature's not the same as his. We keep pretending that they're human and have the natural feelings of sympathy and everything. They don't have none of that. It's not in them. You have it in you. Nobody never saved nobody but you. And uh, you have been beat down so and so discouraged that it's very difficult. But I want you to know that you will be the winner. You are the original man. God didn't make everybody and then make you. He made you first, and everybody was modeled after you on some level. Uh -huh. That's real talk. That ain't to soothe your ego. I mean, these are actual facts that if we could get our men to understand and accept, and I know it don't look like it now. I know some of the gods in the gutter. I know some of them in prison, some of them on drugs. Some of them out here acting ignorant. Some of them pretending to be a woman. But that does not change the foundation of who you are and who made you.